Um, my family was not in production agriculture. We just lived in a small town of Hanford, California, which is like Cowtown, California. Um, so I didn't really know a lot about ag growing up, but come to find out through interactions in high school through my local ag program and my FFA program. I just, I learned a little bit more about the industry. And I'd been to Fresno State um, at the FFA field days and through some other events and I decided that it just felt like an environment that was more conducive to my learning style and my personality. And then um, when I applied for the Smith Camp Family Honors Program and was accepted to there, this is the place that I need to be. Uh, and of course, whenever I talk to uh, people like my ag teachers or uh, my regional supervisor in FFA, they said Fresno State was the best place for ag education. And if I wanted to go be a, a dynamic ag teacher, that Fresno State had the people in animal science and plant science and teacher educators to help prepare me uh, to be in the classroom. So working with uh, the kids at uh, the kids' summer camp, it was awesome for me to see their excitement of running around and saying, oh, I'm going to get to go harvest peaches today, and then I get to go make it into a meal for myself. And just see the kind of that light bulb turn on of, okay, I'm, I'm a kid living in inner Fresno and I have no idea what ag looks like, but to come run around here and understand where their food comes from, it was just a really cool experience. I was able to test my teacher skills, you know. A lot of times when you're in college, you're learning so much about the, the subject matter you forget that, okay, I need to now develop that into a way that kids can understand. And so it was a great training. It was so much fun to be with the kids because it, you know, they're the future and they, they just reinvigorate you with this energy. I've been able to work with a lot of faculty and staff while at Fresno State. Um, Dr. Steve Roca has been a huge help to me academically uh, as a mentor. He helped me with my research for the Jordan Honors Program and just kind of develop, you know, those researching skills and set me on a path towards higher education. I've also been able to uh, engage with Dr. Avery Culbertson in the Ag Discovery Program, uh, giving me more of those hands-on experiences of working with students and sponsored by the USDA. Um, and kids can come from all over. I was able to uh, show them around the farm and have them experience different things that may not be used to their environment. It's been one of my greatest experiences at Fresno State has been my employment at the farm over at the meat lab and here at the horticulture nursery. Just because I've been able to learn, you know, skills that are industry related and just connect me more to agriculture. Since I don't come from that production ag background, so by working at the meat lab, I learned about how to create a pro product and even market it. And then here at the nursery, I've been able to uh, apply some of more of those hands-on skills and learn about plant biology in a whole different way that's marketable and very applicable to the classroom. I think it's super important to have a, a wide variety of skills, whether it's ag mechanics or horticulture or animal science, you need to experience everything if you're gonna be an ag teacher in a high school setting. And the Fresno State Ag Laboratory, the campus farm is the perfect place to do that because there's so many different enterprises. And I find that as an ag teacher, you get to engage in so many different hands-on skills and um, activities that are just not normal in a regular math or English classroom. So it just elevates that learning and I get to continue to be a lifelong learner in the classroom.